Yo, what's going on YouTube, gentlemen? Chris here, we're coming back at y'all with another vid, what we have here today. Bam, that's right, these are the patent leather UNC ones, or blue chills, whatever you wanna call these things. All I wanna say is, first of all, this is a women's shoe. Yes, I know, it is a women's shoe, but these things are so fresh. These things are so nice. Like, oh my goodness. Why not have a family full size run of these things? This, these are just crazy. I know what, I, I mean, for what they did, JB, y'all, like, seriously, like, y'all killing, killing everybody. Like, seriously, I, you guys know what they're doing. All the extensive sizes, or the bigger sizes, was the most limited because this, of course, is the women's shoe. So, all, they're, this is a size seven, this is for the misses. So, all the bigger sizes for the, all the men try to get the big feet, size 12, was super limited. So for them, JB for doing this. So yes, this was a very, this is a technically a, a women's shoe. I mean, they could have easily made it to it. Like, you know, full size men's, family size, whatever, toddlers. They could have done that. You know what they could have. I mean, honestly, with this particular shoe, it's, these things are, these are mad nice. These are mad nice. So these are a size nine, okay? These are a size nine in women. So equivalent to a size eight. Now, for usually uh, a woman's shoe, it, you know, a woman's shoe for guys to try to get like, you know, the woman's shoe and all that. And it's the, usually it's like a different shape and a different thing. And, you know, it just, it looks really girly, you know, like say like the, the, the 12s, the 11s, you know, when it, it, like those type of shoe, you know what I'm saying? But with the ones, I'd pull these out real quick. I mean, I don't see any difference. That's what I'm getting at. So yes. It's a women shoe, but we already know all the guys want these things. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into this review real quick. Now, first things first, if you haven't noticed, guys, the entire shoe is basically made of this nice, shiny, patent leather throughout the entire shoe. Yes, the entire shoe is made of patent leather. It's crazy, but it looks phenomenal. It's nice and shiny and it just looks great pops like crazy and if you guys can't see you get that nike swoosh that's made in patent leather in navy you get the baby blue on the heels and and then you have the baby blue on the upper panels here if you guys couldn't see you have this non outline air jordan wing logo on the top here usually you have it black but you know i guess since it's a woman they just left it alone they just kept it like that all right and take a look at the tote box here you have your whole pre preparations of that shiny patent leather uh, material on the t on the toe box and throughout like I said throughout and if you go up yes it does have your flat rope lacing navy up to your navy nylon tongue where where on the top of the tongue it does says a little N Nike air tag up here and one thing about I guess this is a woman's shoe it does not come with extra set laces on ones that is I guess maybe that's how some uh, women's sizes are I'm not really sure I gotta look at my the GS sizes if they do have extra laces I can't remember uh, let me know I, I don't feel like looking for it but anyways yeah no extra laces in here crazy I think this these things will look good with like maybe the same color baby blue as the lacing but just keep it plain 
in navy, I think it still looks great. Inside the insole, you do have that navy sock liner up here. And also, if you guys can't see, you have that baby blue Nike Air swoosh in the insole here. And of course, yes, you do have that white midsole. Coming down to the bottoms, you have that iconic Air Jordan 1 outsole right here in that North Carolina UNC baby blue. So compared to the materials, I basically want to say it's almost exactly, if not the exact same as the Go Toes. So, you know, there's not no, any differences. Maybe the leather is a little bit thinner. That's about it. I kind of noticed, but it's very, not even that much of a difference, honestly. Maybe it caught, these will cause any creasing. It, uh, creasing on the, on you know, ones anyways, it's pretty, it's pretty notorious. But the thing is with patent leather, when these things crease, they crease. And honestly, I don't like creasing in patent leather. So I highly recommend going to have a half size up and getting some like, you know, some kind of like non creasing type of material, like, you know, whatever. But that's what I, that's what I usually do when I do wear my Air Jordan ones, cause I don't like creasing. And yes, these things do look incredible on feet. They look great with black joggers. They look great with jeans. Even for the misses out there, the babes, you know, if you guys, uh, any ladies out there, I'm pretty sure you guys can rock this any way you want. But for, you know, the guys that's trying to rock these things, looks phenomenal in jeans, black joggers, any kind of skinnies, yo. These things just look great on feet as well. If you guys wanna know about sizing, so the general rule of sizing is whatever your size is, say like it's in men's, you have to add one and a half. So for instance, if you're a size nine, like I can wear a size nine, I would recommend getting a 10 and a half or 11. That's just mainly me in women's sizes so any guys out there if that's you know you try and rock these say you're eight get a nine and a half eight and a half get a ten or yeah get a ten so that's usually how that works the golden rule is usually one and a half size in conversion how these things fit they fit pretty true i guess they fit true size i don't know i mean my wife said they'll fit fine so usually one fit true size i say just go true size unless you're trying to get like some kind of sneaker shields i highly recommend probably going a half size up but i know most people out there that probably try to fight in lines and and try to cop these things probably couldn't get your size so you had to go one size down it is what it is but you guys already know once you guys take the insole out insoles out you'll be fine and cut your toes off so right now yes these things were extremely tough especially if you guys were trying to get the big sizes extremely tough out there uh foot locker has pulled a delay they're going to be shipping you know doing the reserves a week later so that's kind of crazy i saw a lot of people took some w's online i saw a lot of people take some l's so good luck there. like i said these things were actually pretty hard to get uh i'm pretty if you want to get them uh if you're like a smaller sizes if you went for those first i think you could have got a w just because smaller sizes everyone out there was trying to get the big sizes so if you were trying to do my strategy go for the smaller sizes i think you could have I mean, for instance, uh, going for a resale, profit is profit. These things are reselling. These things are a go. These things are money. Uh, but the money size is from size, probably most likely from like a 10 and a half or a 10, well, no, 10 and a half to about 11 and a half. The money size, even a 12 is a money size. Size 14 is kind of crazy right now. So um, anything big is a money size. Anything lower than a size seven in women's is kind of okay. Still profit to be made because these things are like going up for like $300, yo. And these things only uh, retail for $160, so. This release remind me a lot of the Satin Shatter Backboards. I'm not sure which one was more limited. I feel like more places had the, sh the Satin Shatter Backboards, but for some reason, I feel like these were a lot more limited for some reason. I have no idea. Like, it's crazy to me. And like, this is basically what remind me of what happened. It was so much back and forth. It was ex almost the exact same type of release, in my opinion. But, but anyways, I'm still looking for my sizes, so I will probably will have to let these go just so I can afford to get my size. My size is the money size, 10 half, which is going for probably one of the highest prices. It is what it is, man. You gotta pay to play it, but you know, like I said, I just wanna get my size, guys. <laughs> Just right now, I just don't know what Nike's doing, to be honest. I'm not sure what they're doing with the retailers because just the shipment for everything nowadays is just kind of just out there. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe they want everyone to buy from Nike, straight from Nike or something. I mean, you know, give us a $20 off, but I'll buy straight from Nike, you know, for every purchase or something. But anyways, these things are a go. These things are it. These things are fire. Like, 
These things are fire, guys. Everyone should have these. I wish these came in men's. I have no idea why they're not in men's, but it is what it is, guys, but straight fire, man. Look at these things. Just, I know everyone out there, this was a crazy hype shoe, craziness was going on, a lot of finessing, and a lot of just BS going on, but it's, these things are fire, man. You guys let me know. What do you guys think about these things so far? So far, 2009, probably the, the shoe of the ones of the year so far. I mean, we're gonna get more ones later, but whew, so far, these are probably the best ones as of right now. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. What do you, let me know what y'all think about these UNC pant leather joints. Yes, I know it's a woman's shoe. It is, it is what it is. But you guys, you know what? I still wanna rock them. So it is what it is, bam. Anyway, guys. Let me know what y'all think about these things. Did you, and let me know, did you guys cop? Did you take that W? Did you take that L? You guys let me know what you guys think about these things, guys. Anyways, I'm Jumpman Chris. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're first time here. Comment down below. And please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop big guys. All right, I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.